Hey guys, welcome to this week's TFL fleet update and we've got a lot going on. So come on with me and I'll show you what kind of cars we have, what videos we're doing and what we're selling. If I can get out the door because there's a lot going on this week. So first and foremost, we've just done a series called No Payment, not Pavement, No Payment Needed to Helmback, where we drove three cheap trucks to Moab and we fixed them up and we had a lot of fun with them. But now, unfortunately for us, but fortunately for you, it's time to let them go. And we're selling our very first one, the Chevy, over at TFL Bids. And Andre, why don't you give them a walk around to the Chevy and show them what we're selling? Oh, dude, it's kind of a sad day because I think we've all grown fond of this Chevy. It's a 1998. It's basically a movie star, right? A movie truck. Yeah, and you've made it even pop more with your hand-painted front recovery hooks. Or are they tow hooks? <laughs> My son and I spent a Sunday afternoon painting the hooks. Let me show you. So, so first of all, it's a 1998, right? K1500. And, uh, well, this is just kind of a cosmetic touch, which I love, actually. But look at this. Down here, there is a front-mounted hitch. And this can be very useful for many, many things. Um, you can actually put a winch in here, which is included with this truck. You can put a snowplow attachment. You can put a hammock. You know those hitch-mounted hammocks? You can relax, lay down, um, do all that stuff. Uh, this was Roman's idea, but I think it turned out okay. This is a sticker, actually. Rally Stripe. Uh, well, this truck, so check it out. So what did we do with it? First of all, it has a five liter V8, old school, reliable engine. We put a small lift, which is kind of a, uh, a factory still suspension. We just turned up the keys just a little bit for about one and a half inches of lift. Brand new Toyo tires. These are MTs. These are very grippy. I drove about 300 miles in a snowstorm um, and an ice storm in them. Great tires, um, 207,000 miles. So it is a kind of a high mileage vehicle, but we did the brake flush on it. It does have this kind of a tear, typical tear in the seat, but the seats are actually very comfortable because we drove to Moab and back and yeah, that was six, comfortable. 600 miles, yeah. yeah. What we did basically is we bought these trucks uh, and then we worked with our friends over at realtruck.com. Uh, first, we took them to our mechanic and this will all be in the video series. Yes. First, we took them to the mechanic, kind of find out what was wrong with them. Then we fixed them, right? Because we yes. want to make sure they were safe. So, you know, if the brakes were bad, brakes, we fixed yeah. the brakes, you know, changed all the fluids. And then we got these upgrades from our friend at Real Trucks. And speaking of upgrades, you put this on. This is pretty cool, right? This is really heavy duty, dude. It's, yeah. it's actually aluminum, um, very heavy duty tunnel cover. Um, it took us, what, an hour to put it on? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's on there pretty tight. Back here. Uh, Andre thought that it was very important <laughs> to, to have a front-mounted or rear-mounted winch. Yes. Uh, and so this is going and being sold with the truck. We're still trying to figure out how to hook it up. <laughs> so yeah, so uh, Alex um, is working uh, with me on this and it's going to be a quick connect that connects in the grill. So um, it's going to be amazing. Yeah, and so uh, this comes with it, uh, so you can actually get a winch with the truck. Now, uh, should I show them what I added to it, Andre? Because I did something really besides the sticker. This stripe? Yeah, probably the worst thing we did was this. I figured it's America, so we need kind of these cool, badass American uh, flag. But it's too dark. It's too dark. It just looks like a big black sticker I stuck okay. on the truck. But look at the shape. I mean, it's low rust. I mean, there's no body rust. The frame has a little bit of surface rust, but it's a good body. Hey, Andre, if you were to ask me what the hardest thing I did this year was, what? that was trying to find these three trucks. I mean, you know, yes. <laughs> we spent a lot of time and effort making sure that we found the nicest trucks we could for under $5,000. And like I say, it's on TFL bids right now. If you're interested in it, check it out. And uh, it could be yours. Uh, I know a lot of people have expressed interest in it. It's a good truck. Uh, there is a little bit of oil that drips out of it, right? Yeah, and we don't know, the mechanic said we don't know exactly what the issue is because he wanted to wash the engine Yeah, and like actually figure out if it's coming but dude, out. If, if there's no oil dripping out of a 200,000 mile truck, there's something wrong. You probably have a truck that doesn't run. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what Tommy's up to. What are you up to, Tommy? Well, I've just been playing around with the classic Mini Cooper. So this is my 1993 Rover Mini that we bought last summer. It's going to be a year old. We bought it as a non-running project. Um, for $5,000, uh, probably in at like, I don't know, $13,000, $14,000 now. 
but it's running like a dream. Uh, I could have got a good one for $13,000, like a really nice one. Um, now I have one that's uh, slightly rusty, but it looks cool and it's running like a top. So uh, it was a fun job kind of bringing it back up to stuff. It's got the interiors done, the engine's been done, it's all that, ready to go. Yeah, we're gonna be doing a zero to 60 because uh, we wanna find out if our old uh, 911 is quicker or slower than this old, uh, and you did, a, uh, you, did, you did a zero to 60 on the 911, right? I did. How fast was it? Not fast. <laughs> 87, not, 911. Not fast at all. It was like nine second range, um, which is gonna be faster than the Mini, which is about as fast as a, as a hyper poodle, I think. <laughs> All right, come on with me. Let me show you some of the other vehicles that we have. Uh, uh, then that we're, uh, well, there over here is our Tesla. Uh, we're gonna probably hold on to that uh, because there are a lot more electric cars coming. So we're using that kind of a, as a baseline. So when the uh, things like the ID4 and the Mach-E come, we compare it. There's more of those coming. So we're holding on to that right now. It serves as kind of our airport car. So every time I go to the airport, I take the Tesla because, well, doesn't use any gas. Uh, over here is the uh, Toyota Supra uh, that's going away today. And Andre, what are they replacing it with? This is your neck of the woods. Yeah, so they're gonna bring, once again, we work with manufacturers on these loan vehicles, right? This was our loan. I just actually took it home. I was fortunate enough to drive it one day. I love it. The Supra is amazing. Do you fit? I barely fit. It's a little claustrophobic for me, but I really love the performance of it. And they're bringing a Toyota Tacoma Trail Edition and a Forerunner Trail Edition. Of course, we have planes flying, uh, but those are kind of affordable off-roaders, basically. Yeah, so we're going to do a video uh, actually this afternoon where we're going to compare uh, those two vehicles to the uh, FJ uh, and see which one is uh, the best budget off-roader the Toyota builds. Yeah. Uh, this is one of the other trucks. Uh, that we're actually going to be doing for a towing video. This is our Ford F-150. It's a 2004 with a 4.6 liter V8. Um, this is also going to be for sale, but it's going to a friend, right? It might, it might end up going to a friend. There's a guy I know who wants it, but we're going to do a video with it first, which is basically seeing if a new Toyota Tacoma mid-size truck can tow as well as an old full-size truck. So you're going to be working on that because they soon. tow about the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They tow about the, the same, same amount. amount. Yeah. So oh, we're kind of doing. A comparison. Uh, Tommy just took uh, this Touareg, the Mighty T, uh, to Moab with his buddies. And there's a video that uh, Alex is editing right now that'll be on TFL Off Road. So if you love the Touareg, Tommy took it into the sand dunes and did a full video with it. That's coming soon. And what are you doing with the Armada? Well, this is a 2021 fully refreshed Armada. This is a platinum edition. It's a fully loaded truck. Uh, Tommy and I did a video with it that's coming soon to TFL Now channel as well because uh you know tommy wasn't impressed by this but i was so so you'll have to wait and see all right and then uh, uh this was the video that we come right now we did where tommy compared this a zero to 60 uh to the porsche to see if an old porsche is quicker than a new mercedes uh, that's going to be coming to tfl car this week so that's happening very soon i don't even know what the results were all i know is that the porsche did like eight seconds so you think that was faster or slower well this has a two liter turbo so I don't know. This may have had an edge, a small edge. I'm not sure. Okay, we'll have to wait for that video. I don't know either. I was out of town. I was actually uh, at the reveal of the new Tiguan. Uh, that's coming on uh, next week. Is uh, it still embargoed? Yeah, it's embargoed. Oh, okay. Yeah. So an embar by the way, an embargo means that uh, the manufacturer gives all the journalists a chance to basically uh, do their videos or their stories and then we at release the it time? at the same time. Yeah. So that's coming next week. So I was in California doing that and I got to do a fun video with the Volkswagen Atlas. And then finally, we're going to get a lot of uh, fun videos with our 65 Ford. Uh, our friend David is back in town. He was in Arizona for much of the last two months, uh, so we couldn't go to the ranch. Thank God for him because it was crazy snowy and <laughs> ugly here. Uh, but me and Andre and Nathan were there filming the conclusion to No yeah. Pavement Needed last week. Uh, so we did a lot of fun at the Yak Ranch. Uh, we we're going to take it there on Tuesday, but it snowed again. <laughs> So we couldn't, but right. next week we're going to the ranch. Uh, so uh, a lot more David, a lot more ranch videos, a lot more old uh, F1 yeah, work, videos. Actually doing some work, right? And having fun. What are you going to do with the thing? Well, Yakadega Nights. Yakadega Nights? Well, it's kind of an off-road course slash a ranch course that we could do with it. But it's kind of Tommy's project, right? Yeah, I mean, we had a, it's all, it's fixed now. So, uh, you know, last time we tried to go there, the uh, lights and the turn signal stopped working. Alex fixed those, I believe, or Case fixed those. We did that video, and so now it's drivable. And I can't wait to actually start and have some fun with it. It's basically a tracker, so I think David would love that. 
It is a tractor. <laughs> it's a, it's a cool-ass tractor. Well, there you have it, guys. That's what's happening at TFL this week. Uh, and uh, stay tuned for the very first episode of No Payment Needed to Hell and Back, where we buy the trucks. Uh, that's going to be up on TFL Truck on Sunday. I can't wait. Uh, it's a really cool series. We just put a lot of time and effort into it. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, and if you want the Chevy, head on over to TFL Bids. Uh, there's also some other cool stuff there, isn't there, Andre? On TFL Bids, um, we also have a... A 58 Chevy truck, yeah. which is amazing, Apache. And an XJ, right? And an XJ Jeep. And Cherokee. also, we just sold a JK 2015 with a Ursa Minor camper yeah. for like over $4,000. A bidding war. A bidding war over the reserve price. The seller is, you know, really amazed. Yeah, so right now, if you guys have a Jeep or a truck that you want to sell, I should say a four, an off-roader or a truck you want to sell, yeah. Uh, email us at AskTFL or what, what, what's the bid email? It doesn't matter. It all comes we'll to us. Just go to TFLbids.com and, uh, and submit it. Yeah. Click the submit button right Info there. at TFLbids.com. Thank you, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll, get it, we'll get it sold for you. We're really pushing it hard. We'll make commercials for it. Andre's been doing a great job of that. Uh, and yeah, thanks for watching and uh, see you guys next time. Ciao.